Hello everyone, I'm José from France, a PKT trainer from ProCanvan.org. And with me... Hey, hi there. I'm Cyprian, also a professional Kanban trainer from Switzerland. And today's question is, does Kanban have a backlog? So to answer this question, maybe we can define what is a backlog. I think that most people think of a backlog like a to-do list, but I'm not one of those person. I think that it's more a wish list, a wish list of desired output to achieve desired outcome. So with variable item on it that may be broken down in a workflow for a Kanban system team. Right. So, so the backlog, it's an accumulation of incomplete work that needs to be dealt with, right? So that's how yeah. it goes, right? But yeah. variable incomplete work. All right. Yeah. And do we have a formal definition of Kanban in of the backlog in Kanban? No, we don't. We just have a definition of, uh, we, we need to define how to visualize the workflow, but if the team decide to not have a backlog, and to have the starting point after that, that backlog is just fine. They just need to agree on a definition that suits best their context. All right. However, as part of our definition of workflow, we have work items, right? Yeah. And yeah, and uh, those are the, our work items are individual units of value that flow to our system, right? And we can say that, you know, those individual uh, units of value, they can start from somewhere, right? And we can call that place however we desire, right? Like like they want, yes. They can name this backlog on an option column or anything else or something to do, a wish list. All right, all right. So, so therefore, in, the, in Kanban, we don't have a definition of backlog or we, that doesn't exist. However, teams may choose to use a backlog if that's something that they it's it's valuable to them, right? Yes, totally. All right. Thank you.